hit it in the right direction. And we're and back. We're back. <laughs> yeah, this is number two. I'm sitting here with Jay Diz. It is I, Jay Cutler. So this is a. Uh, is this gonna be number one? This is number one officially. Number one. All right. And fuck that. What's the podcast name? Because real I quick, know. real shit. Deal with real. Ki- what? 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 Real quick, real shit. Deal with real quick, real shit. Deal with. You this is a motherfucker host. You don't even know the goddamn name of it. No, I don't. You know, what I mean? real shit, real shit, pig dick, whatever did say. Yeah. You know, yeah. he has said enough. We you don't know. discriminate. We don't. I don't like pig dick, but I heard you can eat that bitch from the snout to the asshole. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Eat the bitch from the snout. To her chitlins. Mm. Can't eat them nasty motherfuckers. All right, so this is a what's a smoke break? Smoke break? I always start off with a smoke break. Smoke break. Oh yeah, let's do that. Smoke break. Let me tell you. So I've seen. Let's get uh, some twos playing while these smoke break. I seen this interesting movie. Uh, Wednesday. What the? What the? Fuck, <laughs> that shit scared me. Thought somebody came in the house. Yo. You can just hear this shit so fucking clear though. And she kept running out like whatever she did, she scared the fuck out of herself. So, Saturday, the Nate Robinson Tyson fight, which is fucking hilarious. We'll get to that. We got a lot to talk about. But I came home, <coughs> and my girl told me about this movie called called Skins. That's S K I N S. Skins. Skins. Like this melanin shit right here. Uh, Sins. One of the movies you gotta see for yourself. It starts off. Skins. Now listen, it's in Spanish. Nigga don't like to read, but you need to do some reading. <laughs> so this nigga start off, he talking to this old lady, right? And you can tell he's conflicted inside. He calls the hospital. They tell him that his wife just gave birth to a little boy. You know what I'm saying? And he starts saying shit like, I don't want to hurt my son. And the woman at the place is reassuring him that you won't hurt nobody here. So I'm like, boom, we got a brothel. This nigga want to pay for some pussy. But I don't understand why he's saying he want to hurt his son. He wants little kids. He got a problem. Then the camera is on the bitch face tight, right? It zooms out. This old bitch sitting there ass naked. Ass naked. All you see is big ass titties. Pink pussy hair. (laughs) (laughs) She showed this nigga a picture. The picture says, uh, Niños. It's children in Spanish, I believe. El Niños. And, uh, he look at the picture. She closed the jaw. And she said, I'll bring her out. She brings out a chick. No eyeballs. And when I say no eyeballs, I mean no fucking eye sockets either. It's smooth, nigga. So that's one person. Sure. There's a lot of deformed people in here. Oh, So okay. you got the chick with no eyes. You got a chick with a droopy face like she had a fucking stroke. You got uh, <laughs> a midget jaw. She had a fat ass a midget jaw. She was playing some uh, kids TV show, some bear shit. She was an actor, but she had got pregnant or some shit. I don't know, some shit was going on. I don't want to give y'all the whole shit, but it's like a random fucking movie. Oh, it's a boy that don't want his legs. This is a funny part. They talking to a therapist. He in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair, they talking to the therapist. Therapist trying to reassure his mom. Like, you know, don't call him crazy. Don't do this. Calm down. It's something, you know, we can figure it out. They go up in there. He will himself in. Talk about how he don't want his legs and shit. This, this shit wraps up at the end. You realize why he don't want his legs. God damn. But Gotta be his bad. mom jacked his ass up out the wheelchair. She got mad at him. Jacked him out the wheelchair. Pulled down his fucking pants. Dick slanging in the face. They showing dick pussy. Spanish Kitties. movies do that. Wow, movies. son. His dick slanging. 
he takes off running. He pulls the pants up, takes off running. Like, when you first see the nigga, you thinking, he can't walk. <laughs> this nigga. Oh, she jacked the nigga up. Pull his pants down. See, he been cutting himself. He pulls his pants up, takes off running. He really don't want his legs. So he goes out to the street, lays between the dumpster, and put his legs up like this. And wait for a car. He's sitting there like this. Like, yeah, thank you. And the kicker the is. Fuck? Yeah, this is some weird shit. The kicker is. One of the main Jones, her deformity is. She has an asshole where her mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the makeup. Stop! Box. Damn, that shit was Sally. Oh man. Shout out to the makeup artist because it looked like a real asshole on her face, right? And she had little pubic hairs around it. Like a goatee. And where her asshole was supposed to be. Stop. Uh-oh. You about to go you about to go in timeout. Bella, you have really fucking now. Try to give you a chance. <laughs> Check this out. Where her asshole's supposed to be is a mouth. Some nigga seen that shit, tried to rape her. She bit the nigga dick off. Yeah, he's they seen the asshole. Him and his boy look like twins. They uh, one dude held it. Other boy put her pants down. You see a mouth. He stuck his dick in it. She clenched on that motherfucker. Yeah. Ah, wow, shit, weird son. Fucking movie, skins. Dog. Skins. It's almost like no plot to it. It's so uh, random. I gotta watch that. About these deformed people, son. What you watch it on? It is on Netflix. Shout them out. Yeah. Netflix got that thing for you. The subtitles are worth it, dog. Trust me. And then I just seen uh, The New Mutants. That's worth oh, yeah, a watch. Oh, yeah, check that. And... Unhinged. The shit with Russell Crowe, some road rage, and nigga just. Oh yeah, out. I see that, Joe. We brought that up on one of the podcasts. It, it, it was alright. It was alright. It was one of the movies where it's like, why the fuck don't you just do this? When you sitting there the whole time looking at the character, like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, he's bugged up. Check that skin shit out, though. Yeah. You could be tripping off that shit. I think being sure the girl probably checked it out. Oh, uh, I had a joint. So, uh, what I watch this joint? I've seen this movie before. You might have seen it with me. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when we used to live together. Uh, it's called The Possession of Michael Keaton. The Possession of Michael Keaton? The actor? The Batman nigga? That's what I said years after I heard about it. But it's not him. It's somebody else. I don't know. That nigga just got the same name. I don't know. <laughs> we been back in that time. For some reason, we was just, you know, watching some scary movies. Yeah, we used to watch a lot of shit. Yeah. You, you know used to find some, some hidden gems all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like the boy said, you ain't got to believe in the devil, but he believes in you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's I went so back shit. and watched that, too. That's some shit to tell a nigga. Like, oh shit. So anyway, possession of Michael Keaton. This is about his you know, he had a beautiful family, his wife, uh, you know, all that shit and a child. One day his wife they was out of the park having a good time. He's an atheist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She is, you know, believe in Christ, you know what I'm saying? So he uh he uh he's like, Okay, blah blah blah, yo, he always mocking God and all that dumb shit. So, she about to, you know, they parked in the spot. He ain't, she ain't put no quarters in the joint. So, she go park, put some money in the, in the joint. You know what I'm saying? She got this quarter about to go put in there. She dropped the quarter, go out in the street. She get hit by a fucking truck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It kind of showed that shit. Like, it was like, no, no, no. She was underneath him. You seen underneath him. Like, oh, shit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> then when it stopped, she's like, get it, just script. Ah! You know how that shit all is. Fuck that bitch up. So anyway, now he go he goes to you know he's like a documentary type person. He goes out to a journalist slash documentary type nigga. He yeah. go out to uh, 
go back to this psychic bitch like um you t you know you know read my shit she reading it like yeah you such and such 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 he's like yeah right bitch <laughs> you know what I'm saying and then you know what I'm saying she said he's like you told my wife you know what I'm saying that she should go to such and such you know what I mean we went to such and such and now she's dead you know what I'm saying and he she was like oh I'm sorry and then she flipping all the cards said the devil she was like. And he was like, still talking shit. Now, if we would have went to such and such, like I said, then she would still be alive. Um, tell me that you full of shit. Say it on the camera. Tell me you full of shit. You know what I'm saying? She's like, no, no, well, uh, you got to get the fuck out of here. Anyway. <laughs> so, dude, he starts the documentary. This is where it gets good. He starts his documentary like, I don't believe in Christ. Fuck that. I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do all these spells, I'm gonna go to all these Satanists and all this shit, and I'm gonna try to find me a demon. I'm gonna summon me up a motherfucking demon. Oh, he wild. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he goes to, uh, he goes to, all right, first place. What was the first place? Okay, first place. Wild in a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Um, he go to this place as a guy and a girl. He, they tell him what he do, blah, 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 blah. They said, all right, I want you to sit down. I want you to take this pen. I want you to close your eyes, and I just want you to start drawing. And he was like, what the fuck? And he was like, yeah, just do it. <laughs> and he was like, he's just sitting there, and he was like, man, I don't know what the fuck you doing. They was like, done. What? He picked it up. up. Here's your demon. And it was just some crazy little squiggly shit. You know what I'm saying? He's like, The nigga what? did the shit didn't know he was doing it? I, I don't even remember doing that. It was, uh, when did I do that? And he was like, Now let's match this up in a little demon book. Open up. This is all the demons. Boom, boom, boom. Um, dude, you're fucking weird. I don't know what you're talking about. That shit, right? he, got a, he got a film guy with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got a little... Necklace drawn with a camera on it too, so he filming everything. Dude, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Oh, here's your demon. It says it uh, preys on people who don't believe. It uh, it, it also preys on people who just lost someone, uh, some shit like that, and they want to come back to you know Earth, you know, through someone you love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some oh, shit, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Killer, chaotic, crazy motherfucker. He's like, all right, whatever, let's do it. He's like, certain things, you know what I'm saying, you got to do this crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? We might need some semen. <laughs> what? Whoa. Semen, and we got to do some PCP. What? <laughs> Demons, oh, oh, you know, oh. when you're in the psychedelic world, they're, they can be more attracted to it, blah, 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 blah. All right. It sound like they trying to get me high and jerk me <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, after you see what happened, <laughs> what's even wild? I might be down for it. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> we'll see. It might be a train ski. You never know. <laughs> they might run one on you. But <laughs> anyway, so they go, uh, they used to give him the cup, fill up the cup with some semen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> take some hair and shit. They put them, they lay it, they're going to take them in the sex basement. For one, they already knew it was a sex basement because when the dude went down, he was filming and they opened up this closet. And they had all these dildos and whips and shit. And they picked it up like, dude, what the fuck are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> and they was like, all right, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bella, we're filming. Um, he was like, what the fuck are we getting ourselves into? Um, so uh, so they lay them down. They strap them up. <laughs> and, they, you know, it's pitch black in there. They got this light. That shit's just going around and some shit like that. So you just see one. You know what I'm saying? So then you see these niggas come out from the back. Two niggas come out from the back, the both of them, and they got some fucking crazy mask on, you know what I'm saying? And they like halfway naked, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitch titties out and shit. It's like, yo, what whoa, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? They got that knife and they like, ah, and they go putting it on his chest. Hey, dude, whoa. Whoa! Wow. And then they unbuckle um, his pants. They cut his pants open. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they oh, uh, they fucking uh, they fucking 
Then, you know, he's like, what the fuck going on? Then shit go back around. And then he fucking the bitch from the back. Like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, whoa. And they throw semen and blood on them. Strange. Like, oh, shit. Yo. I was a hell of a night getting semen and blood. Shit, up. wow. Second night. Oh, my God. Second night, second time. So for one, they didn't go to the cafe. You know, after that, they go to the cafe, and you know, they just sit right to the camera, just on. They just sit like this, like. And uh, his cameraman laughing. I'm like, dude, what the fuck happened last? Night? <laughs> <laughs> he said, Oh shit. He said, I know you're still tripping balls off that PCP you took. You're running through the woods. You're running through the woods, dude. Stop, man. I'm not really for it right now. You know. He's like. Man, that strawberry pancakes, it looks like that blood and that semen that you had all the night. Oh. Dude, oh, I'm not even eating it anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's some crazy shit. Go to this morgue the next day. This dude, he supposed to specialize in some crazy shit, too. The mortician. He get a fresh body. He said, but motherfucker demons like fresh bodies because, I mean, you know, the ghosts, they are close to, you know, they still in between worlds or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So they get a fresh body. They take all his teeth out of the body. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's something else. Uh, hey, Bella. And she, uh, on, uh, that's Bella, everybody. Yeah, that's Bella. She made me lose my train of thought. So uh, it ain't no more. So all right, the teeth. <clears throat> they lay this nigga down. They numb up his goddamn fucking section right here, right? You know what I'm saying? And this also is going to consist of some type of drugs. So they numb them up right here. They get the teeth. They sew in the teeth. And so he got, like, teeth all around sewed the fuck in. You know what I'm saying? Sew the teeth in. So the bodies, they can try to trick the body. They sew the teeth into the dead body? Nope. Yep. What? Yep. Right. <laughs> yeah, teeth <All> right. on <laughs> <laughs> I bought some weird shit. This nigga going through some extreme shit to prove a point. Ain't right. It? So, boom. Then they take this frog. He's like, yo, this frog, bullfrog, he got some eye crazy toxins in it. They cut the frog open. He take that motherfucking big ball sack out. It's a sack type shit. Put it in there, cut it open, there's some shit. They put it on a glass. He let it dry out. And then he give that nigga some motherfucking frog gut high hallucinogen. <laughs> boom. So then he wait. So they go to a motherfucking graveyard. <clears throat> When he get to the graveyard, they got fucking frogs in the, stuck in the ass all the way up. You know what I'm saying? A still alive type situation. Bleeding out. All the way around. Some sticks around him and shit like that. Do some type of satanic shit. You know what I'm saying? He's like, the pain and from the agony of from the frogs. They like it. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, something jumped into that nigga's sign. He started running through the motherfucking grave sites. Came around, found him. He, he screamed some crazy ass shit out of his mouth, right? <laughs> Take it to an audio guy, like, yo, what could this have been? This came out my mouth. Audio guy listened to it like, ain't no way that came out your mouth because, for one, go on the piano. Doo, the low, the low joint. He was like, this is such and such, such and such. Then go to the high joint. This is a Guinness Book real world, re world record. <clears throat> he go further down. He's this is where you was. Went high, high, high. And this is where you was. There's no way you can have your voice, you know, do anything like it's not about this is impossible. It's not. Can't do it. <clears throat> this nigga still don't believe. He don't believe. <clears throat> he start waking he start seeing his cameras footage of him rubbing on some little sixteen year old girl pussy type shit. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? <laughs> he's like, ah, he's taking a camera. Ah, he's taking a camera. Ah, he's taking a camera. This nigga's wild, son. So long story short, because it's getting a little long-winded, because I can go on and on for real. That was just halfway through it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga started going through shit. He started hearing ringing in his ears and shit like that. Can't stop. Then um, we finally start hearing somebody talking to him. Once you hear it, you can't stop hearing it. So he started telling mm. him to do shit. He started fucking flipping out. Long story short again, he tried to, you know, do an exorcist on himself. 
then you know, every time he read the book, the demon would fuck him up, pick him up, throw him against the wall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He cut a fucking big ass star in his chest and ah! shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Long story short, again, he tried to kill his daughter. You know what I'm saying? The little girl. Boom. So he finally crawled up after he broke his neck. Like, <laughs> you know, crawl <crawled> up. <laughs> he crawled up the steps. You know what I'm saying? Find her. Boom. Once he about to kill this bitch, the quarter comes rolling on the table, staying straight up. And he was like, oh, Sam. And she was like, make it quick. And he was like, oh. see the window? Jumped out the window, killed himself. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what's the name of that shit? The Possession of Michael Keaton. The Possession of Michael Keaton. I think it's on Amazon Prime. Word. Got that. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, talk shit. about this Tyson Jones Jr. Jones. Okay, yeah. Um... We were front row. We were front row at, at the house. Shout out Mad Bud. Shout out Mad Bud. You know what I'm saying? Um, for one, let's start with the undercards. Undercards was lit, okay? I think I missed the first one. I missed the first one. All of them was knockouts. And there was some pretty bad knockouts. There was, some, there was some good fights on the undercard. Good fights. But... <laughs> we was waiting on Nate Robinson and what's the dude's name? Jake Paul or I don't know what the fuck his name is. The YouTuber dude, Logan Paul or Jake Paul, one of the two. My, they brothers. Is it Logan for real? Oh. Yeah, white boys. But yeah, that one and then uh, the main event, Tyson Jones Jr. Now. <laughs> <laughs> This Nate Robinson, let's just go with Logan Paul. Let's just, you know, because I feel like I'm going to say a different one every time. But uh, this was an interesting one. I didn't know this one was on, the, was on the cards for the night until I actually got over there and seen the shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I knew one of them niggas, Logan or Jake, whatever which one, I knew one of them was boxing. And uh, I never knew who he fought. And I never knew that Nate had, you know, accepted a fight to fight this nigga. And I thought it would go way different. I'm not saying I thought Nate would have won. But I thought... <laughs> I didn't think it would have ended the way it did. And the way it ended, for me, was fucking hilarious. <laughs> it was almost on the same level as the young Jeezy and Gucci feeling that I had. Because I was... I was... Oh man, wait, not okay. Chris supposed to be coming on. Uh, I was so excited when I seen, like, Nate Robinson come out. Why? Because I seen the fear in his heart. And I said... I had to switch up real quick. I said, oh, no, that white boy is winning this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That white boy is winning this one. It really showed that uh, even though dude had only one victory under his belt, professionally. Uh, this is against a big black nigga, too. I, word. I seen, like, some highlights of that. Word. They say that nigga got some, got some stones in them gloves, man. They say he hit hard. Oh, we but know now. <laughs> you can... <laughs> You can definitely tell though the just his one fight to Nate just starting out, it's a big difference in experience. Just watching it, you can see like right. Nate didn't seem to have right. any zero any defense at all. Zero. I don't know what they worked on or how long, but he was he was just running into them bitches like I mean, it's, it's... Ow! What the fuck was that for? Oh, Bella. <laughs> I should cut your toenails. It was like... It was like, for real, like he's never been in a fight in his life. You know what I'm saying? Like, he never play fought with anybody. <laughs> if he did, if he ever played slap boxing or something, niggas really like, slap the fuck out this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
They said, let's slap out. Who y'all want to go against? Nate? I'm going against <laughs> Nate. <laughs> Fuck that, nigga. Got an easy win. Oh, man. But, all right, it was like three significant punches. Two in the second round. That one in the first round. But to me, that first one was a little controversial. They said it was cool, the commentators, but it looked like he caught him like... He kind of did. Right behind yeah. the ear, almost back of the head type jump. But, you know... You can't throw your equilibrium on me. You yeah. might just run in and get bopped. But you can see it on Nate's face, though. You see it on Nate's face. That one, and then the first one of the second round. <laughs> the second day, he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this. It's like, man, you I don't know, do it's like... Just like, head, he man. probably looking at the ref like, nigga... Count me out. Come on. And you see the ref was <laughs> like, man. you see the ref was like, ref five. Yeah, come on. We're going to make it a show. Six. Remember, it's an exhibition. <laughs> it's an exhibition, buddy. He ain't going to hurt you. <laughs> he ain't going to hurt you. He ain't trying to hurt you. It's an exhibition. <laughs> you, you ain't no bitch, right? Yeah. You know, all these people watching. You know what I'm Yo. Man up. Let's go. Man Let's up, go. Nigga. Hand me your gloves. You good? It was you like, good? man, come on. Man. I don't want it. He almost started crying. But that last one, though. You got to get uh, knocked out. I got to get Logan knocked out. Logan caught him with a good one. And he backed off. And I think Nate was like, fuck that. Like, I'm just going for it. <laughs> oh, but unfortunately, he caught that right. Oh, my God. <laughs> he went down. Yeah. It was a little scary because... That nigga was still laying there for a while. Every but. time he went down, it was scary. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. He was on that ground for a long time. That's where the memes come oh, from. I like, like that nigga Nate's still there. Like, I mean, it's funny. Shout out to Nate though for for even doing it though. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going in a boxing ring that's being filmed. Not because I'm scared to fight somebody, because I know it's being filmed. If nigga get a hit on me, and I. Bomb like that. <laughs> so, I don't want people. I don't want people making fun of me for like a year. Cause that's what's gonna happen. I mean, but like, like niggas was saying that too. Like Nate shouldn't even been in that goddamn ring, which is true. But real quick, real shit deal with. If 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 the nigga hurt, and the nigga need that bag. I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do, too. Like a nigga said, yeah, I wouldn't fight Mike Tyson. Nigga, right now, we ain't motherfucking, we ain't pandemic, nigga. I'll fight Mike Tyson right now. Fuck that. You two million. Open face shot from Mike Tyson, I, two million. Oh, fuck, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Two, it is, if I did that when I said two million, no, nah, I don't think I could do it. Not two million. Because oh, I, I think I'm, ooh, my brain already, my, like my brain was spin around. Like, <laughs> God and it'd be with my brain, the front supposed to be right here, the, the, it'd be on the side, like that. And like squished. You know what I'm saying? Stuck in the space, like that. Like, fuck. Oh, shit. I mean, fuck that. But the, uh, the final fight, Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr., I mean, I don't know what everybody expected, but it pretty much went like. Realistically, you would see it go. These niggas owe, what, like 55, 51, some shit. I mean, what else you expect? Tyson did catch Roy with a nice little gut jump. Yeah. Yeah, you see a nigga Roy just like this after the yeah. like, like, damn, nigga, put your arms down. Your ribs all right, he ain't gonna hit you again. He's like a little, like a bitch in high school that just didn't want to show all her, show her titties. She just kidding. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and niggas be like thinking like, man, put my shit down, nigga. Put that shit down. I know they did. You draw more Jesus. attention to it. Yeah, Roy was hurt though, man. Um, Tyson gave some real good shots. Roy um, was uh, funny the way he was doing that little side jab. And yeah, that, away. he tried to do his own, sh his old shit, but his back hurt, so I don't even fuck with this shit up. You could tell them niggas was tired too, and Mike Tyson smoked that joint. Right. So you know the niggas ain't yeah. They it's like <laughs> it's like this. That's why I, I, like, I got to salute Tyson. Because I've told myself a thousand times, I am not going to smoke this blunt before I play this basketball. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. know what I'm saying? A thousand times. And you know what I've done? 
I smoked that goddamn blunt a thousand times. <laughs> like, hey, who will roll this up before we go ball? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I just want to get a good game, man. I don't want to be too high. I want to know where the ball at. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be running in a circle. But I do it anyway. I said I'm overcoming. Especially back in the day when we were smoking that red eye. Right. Yeah. It was two extremes with me. I was focused as shit or I was just spaced out. So 50-50 chance that if we got high before we played, you had a good player. Or horrible player. <laughs> there you go. You ain't no in between, nigga. I ain't just have a good, a good no day. No in between. I had, a, I had a great day, or oh man, it was a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a rebound. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, but I did turn it over because I tried to pass it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't even got a turnover, so I ain't oh, I count. did miss that. Bella, pass. oh she is bugged out for the camera. <laughs> oh, Bella, <laughs> Bella. Oh, she bugged out for the... Oh, oh she, is, not she is bugged out. Showing off. I know you're going to be at tonight. Just get it in. Showing off. Get it in. You, I know where you're going to be at. Showing off because you got company. That's yeah. how they do. That's a special place for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hell. Not hell, ladies and gentlemen. Man. She is bugged okay. out. See, I'm a little high. With memory lapses. When shit like that go down. Oh, yeah, we're talking about being high and balling. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. I forgot we had a lot to talk about. Um, Thanksgiving was good. It was, uh, like I said, exactly what I needed. Uh, needed to be around with fam. Have some good times. Have some good drinks. Smoke good. Eat good. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. Judy made this motherfucking um, rum cake. Everybody like rum cake. I don't like rum cake. Um, Because you never had a good one. That's the day y'all. No, 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 yo, yo, I, yo, I am not fucking with you, <laughs> my nigger. This is how I'm gonna tell you. Look, once, once I explain the kick to you, then you understand. Let me explain the kick I'm to listening. you. I'm listening. So, when you look at this cake, you know it was just a little, little circle cake. You know what I'm saying? Round cake. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, missing that little nice big piece. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Don't right? Yeah. Don't nut John. You'd be th you would think, man, look at this regular ass cake right here. You wouldn't know what it is, you just looked at it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was just like it looked like regular cake on the outside. It was like brown. It had like some like sugary, like little sugar, a little smoke around it. You know what I'm saying? Like sugar around it. Like powdered sugar? Not even powdered sugar, like almost like regular sugar. Like crisp. Oh, okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like that. So each bite, you know, it was like, mmm, okay. Alright, so the inside was like kind of like a lemon almost, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like a lemon type color. Alright, so most people soak that motherfucking cake yeah. in rum. Yeah. That's all you taste yes. is rum. That's what, that's what most people say. Oh, rum cake. I'm like, no. Nah, you want to get drunk off of cake. It's an edible to them. They make it an edible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to get drunk off cake. No, you fucking the cake up. I had some Longo cake. Kim Longo. Chief Longo, he gave me some cake when I was young. He was like, hey, man, take it easy on the cake. <laughs> you guys, you got to drive. I was like, what you talking about? It's just rum cake. And I didn't think about rum. He was like... Put a lot of rum in it. I'm like, what? Oh shit, that's the first time I even knew what the fuck it was. You know what I'm saying? She did not have nothing soaked at the bottom. Usually soaked at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? It was not soaked. It was not uh, uh, soggy and nothing like that. It was like regular cake, right? Mm -hmm. But it had like a little glaze, just a small glaze, like you get a, like a lemon cake or something like that with a little glaze on it. Yeah. Just like, like a, um, a fresh glazed. Um, Krispy Kreme donut like had like a little glaze on the bottom of it. That's where you just tasted like a lot of flavor, like no hint of no hint of rum, of alcohol, not zero hint. Best cake I've had in my life. Each keep each piece. See, I like to try that, but most rum cakes I tried that first bite. No, like damn, it's like taking a shot. I didn't want it. I didn't want no rum cake, nigga. I don't eat my shots. Oh, excuse me. How about your own Thanksgiving? What you do with the fam? Ah, uh, my lady cooked. Right. Uh, and of course, you know, she did most of it, but she had to get me the help. Of 
course. Fucking hate it. <laughs> Every time. I just need you to do this. And I'm like, fuck. I gotta cut up. Man, I ain't trying to cut nothing up. Yeah, but uh, it was just us and the mothers and <clears> watching <throat> football. You know, we didn't really do much at all. It was just the immediate me, yeah. my woman, two kids, yeah. her mom, my mom. Yeah. Her mom boyfriend stopped through a little bit. Right. Him and my mom some Washington football club fans. Damn, uh, that's a terrible name. They won, though. Who did Washington they beat? beat the shit out of Dallas. My nigga. Oh, Pee Wee stopped by. Pee Wee stopped by. We went outside to smoke. And the game was close. We come back in. It's 41-16. Damn. I'm looking at my mom like, what happened? She's like, shit, I don't know. I ain't paying oh, attention. Oh, yeah, they did beat them niggas, y'all. <laughs> but uh, the highlight of the night, though, is me and my girl played spades against our moms. I felt like I did something wrong and my mom had to whoop my ass. The fuck? The first fucking hand, nigga. They had all but one book. Damn. <laughs> we came back and in the middle of the game they pulled another one on us well they had all Damn. but like two books it just crushed the shit out of us semi Bostons motherfucker Damn. oh it's, it's we gonna get a rematch I don't know if it's Christmas or what next time they come over rematch shit yeah I gotta find something if they do y'all one more time like that gotta call it quits y'all get another um, teammate spank the shit out of us they some old heads. Old heads, they got they put their, their knowledge together. Yeah. Wisdom. They know how to cheat. <laughs> I was hoping we had it. Because I was hoping Marquita Ma just drank a little bit too much. Marquita couldn't cheat. You know how she do. She ain't like nothing. No. She ain't do no cheating. No. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't do nothing. You know how she do. She be counting them books all wrong. Fuck you up. Fuck everybody. <laughs> <Don't be off. laughs> Fuck your own partner up. Like, God damn it. I thought you had. My sister like, nah. I'm not playing with Marquita. You cut me, <laughs> God damn. You gonna cut me. Yeah, I already know you said so. No, she, she played straight though, but just they had every fucking thing, man. I had one good just hand. Just the way the, 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 the cards is dealt. You can't really switch that. Couldn't do nothing about that. We went to 300, 350, something like that. They spanked us. It was a cool, relaxing mm. Thanksgiving though. Mm, good. Got a little break because I came back uh, Monday and it was fucking raining. Oh, yeah, it was a bad day. And my boss told me to come in at 10 o'clock. I come in. He said, yeah, so I already gave the other guy, Eric, uh, the option to stay home. He's going to stay home today. And, uh, you know, I'm going to send the same option to you. I looked outside like, ah, well... You know where I'm going. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not an option, I already know. You should have fucking called me and gave me the option. Instead of making me drive across town. But it was, it was straight shit. I take another day off. Had a nice uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days off. Don't get that too often. Oh, yeah. I had a good time off, too. Five days some shit like that. Went back to work was a no good. When I got back Monday, I just sat at my desk. I act like I was doing something. I do something <laughs> ten minutes and I get on the computer, act like I'm looking up something. Man. I don't know fuck that, man. Everybody was like that though. Drag. What y'all ain't had to work or y'all just? Oh, we had to work. Oh, okay. We had to work, but you know that shit. You can like hide your time and some shit because it's gonna take you three months to do it. God. You know what I'm saying? So you can hide a day, two days. If I take this week, I can take this week off for real. I'm at work, but I took this week off, nigga. <laughs> I've done that. So physically, I'm in the building. Yeah. But uh, this is time off. Scheduled. I can hide that in that time. I can, yeah. I scheduled in my mind before I get yeah. in this motherfucker. That I, t- I mean, I be telling I'm like, nah, nigga, my day off. You know? <laughs> 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 fucking with y'all, <laughs> I'm using PTO without using PTO, nigga. I'm here. Oh, shit. That's what's God damn, that's what's up. We don't, yo. Uh, Friday. Friday, so. 
for y'all that don't know, uh, I'm into landscaping, grounds maintenance. That's my profession. And Friday after lunch, about 12.30 to about 4 o'clock, me and a co-worker planted 500 tulips. Tulips look little bulbs, look like onions. I thought they looked like pussies, like two lips. They, that, no, when we planted them, they, that's what they look like. Oh, okay. they, that's where they come from. And they push up, get the flowers and shit. Ooh, they freaky. And uh, we planted 500. The space we planted 500 in, twice the size of this fucking chair. 500 tulips. Mm. And so we on a hill, I'm on my hands and knees, digging, planting, doing that shit for about three hours straight and I wake up the next day my ass and my <laughs> hips sore as a motherfucker <laughs> we went bowling yesterday we went bowling yesterday with the kids and the first time I threw the ball I was just like Ugh. I just tossed it down that motherfucker and I hit a strike too <laughs> Couldn't move, son. This whole yeah. mid area was stiff as a bitch. Yo. I was like, what the fuck? That's pain right there. I feel like I was doing squats all day the day before. Damn, nigga. Oh, shit. But once that pain go away, shit, you be fucking like a champ, nigga. Yeah. Put the stroke in it. You gotta fuck through the game. Fuck through the pain. Yeah, you, you got to, to get that Charlie horse. You can't fuck through that. They said, <laughs> <laughs> shit, you just straight that motherfucking leg out. <laughs> I thought, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know what you in it, you ain't trying to go about it, and you ain't trying to stop. Oh shit! <laughs> Tell her help me, help her. hold my leg, hold it. Oh, 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 oh. all oh. right, there we go. Oh, I can fight through that. Get your hand on my ass, bitch. I want y'all to sneak one in. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm more paralyzed. I'm laying here paralyzed and shit. And you just to sneak one in. Oh man, they be doing that. I ain't trying to stop. Yeah, fuck that. Did that shit. <sighs> what is this? Yo. Is that Juicy J? Yeah, this is that Juicy J. Oh, uh, I just got to do this segment real quick. The segment is, my God. Okay. My God. I got to tell you about this my God situation. I see God. something that I seen has made me say, my Is. So, for what I can tell you, I can show you. I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to give you the, so you can have the reaction. <laughs> what the fuck? And then... Alright, this ain't, this ain't like that time you showed me uh, two girls oh, one cup. Oh, fuck. Is that CLS? Yeah, it's CLS. Hold up, boy. Yo, we got to We got to Hope you don't show me no two girls one cup shit. Oh, it's two girls. I ain't got no weak stuff. Nah, ain't nothing like that. Nah, that shit right. popped out. These bitches nasty. Cold in this motherfucker. I'm gonna put my goddamn coat back on. Freak Jones. So, uh, those going on, I'm scared. I think somebody's at the door. Oh, okay. I know you want to drive it, bitch. Oh, shit. I know you want to drive that shit. I know you want to drive that shit. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're back. One day since I've been here the whole time. Yeah, that's kind of cold in here, man. I want to turn the heat on, but they yeah, make the sound. It's, it's crazy. I'm about to throw the coat back on. That's what I was just telling the people. I know. Did you do that? I know. I'm about to just push over the door, but I'm going to throw it right too. So anyway, yeah, like I said. All right. Yeah. Um, my God. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You know. So I'm going to show this man what I'm talking about. <laughs> And we, you gonna get his pure reaction, Ooh, and then we gonna tell you what we saw. All right, All right here we go. Oh, <laughs> <Is he>? God <laughs> damn! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this nigga standing on his ankle? <laughs> Yo, this is real. Yo, nah. I was standing behind this nigga. I said, oh, thank you, sir. And I, and I was just chilling. You know, I went down about two floors. Then I looked down. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I got to get this. Yo, y'all can't see the visual, but this man's shoe is leanest. Look how look how the sole is popping up the other side. <laughs> Hold up, let me it's see. It's like he don't wore the left side down so much. Ain't never touched that. Oh my god, the whole other side ain't even touching. This nigga is literally standing on his ankle. Right? I've yeah. never seen God damn, that shit look like it hurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh my God. My God of the week. Oh my God. Yeah. I wish you guys could show y'all that visual somehow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get I put to this shit on and it automatically it'll felt be, like I'm about to get high. It'll be on picture, y'all. We gotta get all that. Oh man. How long have we been on so far? Oh, this. Oh. Probably, it's probably about an hour because you know we wasn't yeah. recording that other little piece. No, we won't. We were just listen to the smooth tones of our voices. Smooth tones of the tones. You remember those fucking uh, infomercials where they sell you the CDs? Smooth jazz collection, r and oh, yeah. collections and shit. Oh, yeah. What happened to those commercials? Do they still play those? At, they uh, just play it out because those niggas don't be uh, the two o'clock. See in the us in the building. Yo, yeah, 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 all that. Right. All right, <laughs> you better go get some sweet home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. oh, oh, okay. Here's another one. Let's do a uh, senior playing dog. Senior playing though. Senior playing though. This nigga is playing. Dope. Like, oh, you being a senior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, do you got any of those this week? This week? No. Not really like, this well. nigga playing. It's like right? fucking seniors in the fucking traffic the past two days. Oh, he playing out there. God damn. Oh, they play, that's unhinged out there, bitch. Like, niggas, the type of niggas that fucking speed up when you gotta pass them. Oh, yeah. And then when you be like, all right, you get up the road, you get behind them, automatically they slow the fuck down. I don't oh. have a bad case of road rage people. Right. Me either. But I be wanting to sometimes. And after yeah. watching unhinged. Yeah. I can understand. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, what the crazy thing is, I understood of him, his pain. Like, yeah. bitch, don't, what the fuck, yeah, lay on it. You, it was so simple. <laughs> That's all I needed. A courtesy tap. Courtesy bitch. tap. And the crazy thing is, like, I was watching with the chick, and she didn't understand it his way either. He was like, she was like, no, fuck that. I'll lay on the lawn too. Cause, you know, <laughs> I said, no, don't do that. Because as you can see, bitch, Look at her. Look. You in the place. <laughs> Bella's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that. You gotta have that courtesy tap, baby. Yeah. Beep, beep. So let my man know. Anyway, my senior is uh I went to go get this truck, man. I drove all the way to Maryland, you know what I'm saying? Talk to the boy, set it up like Where at? Where in Maryland? Rosalind, Maryland. What the fuck is that? It was in the hood. Mm. It was the wire. I seen everything. I seen all of the wire. It's like, say two. I seen this nigga. crazy. Like, uh, let me get there. Let me get there. Because the boy was crazy how he was talking to me. Like, I was like, whoa. Um, Get there. So I set an appointment, 12 o'clock Saturday, three hours away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boom. He was like, cool. All right. We'll be here. All right, so get in the car, go, get there. Like I said, I had to go through Baltimore, crazy, dirty city. I'm not going to lie, it was really dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dirt all over the place, trash everywhere. Niggas. Well, I'm a fan, baby. He can stay all he want to see. Nah, fuck that. All right, continue, sir. <laughs> um, get there. 
thought that shit, he had that shit outside or something. Couldn't even see that shit. What the fuck is that? Go up in there. He was like, hey, yo, what's up? I was like, yo, do you work here? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Um, I just can't look at the truck. Hey, yo, what truck you talking about? He was like, hey, yo, what you talking about, man? I said, hey, you come to Denali. You know what I'm saying? I called about the truck. You know what I'm saying? You come. You got, ain't, ain't no truck here, man. Ain't no truck here, man. We had a truck here. We, we sold that truck Wednesday. I'm like, Wednesday. oh, I called you on Wednesday, nigga. Like, we set this appointment up on Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you a senior. <laughs> <laughs> you seen your plane, though, for real, nigga. I just drove three hours there on this bitch, yo. That's how I said the Shelton looks some bullshit. So I always have a plan B here and a plan C. Yeah. Had a plan B. I'm in Maryland. It's another truck in Maryland. Fuck that. We're going to go see that shit. It's an hour and a half away. Call him up like this. Call him up like this. It's a dual senior. Call him up. Hey, come down there. Uh, so you got this Yukon Denali. I'm trying to get that. And he like, yeah, we got it here. Uh, yeah, you come. You, you going to come see it? Yeah, yeah, you come see it. Bet. Uh, yeah, something wrong with the tire, though. What you mean? Something wrong with the tire. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Something's wrong with the tire. Uh, is it flat? Is something going on? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's flat. It's flat. Why can't you pump it up? Um, yeah, the mechanic not here. You know, you can't pump it up. You know, the mechanic not. You need a mechanic to pump the tire up? You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I'll be down there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Got down there an hour and a half later, you know what I'm saying? Truck sitting outside, truck in the gut. She beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I was like, whoo, look at that. Motherfucker tire flat, shit. <laughs> Go in there, they like, it look like some kids in that joint, like 20, 19, black niggas. They ain't, you know, ain't dressed professional now. I'm like, damn, where the fuck am I at? <laughs> Um, real up in that mother. like some dude. Oh, hey. Uh, I was like, yeah, man. I came for this truck out here sitting out here. He said, oh yeah, uh, yeah. We uh, um, something's going on with the tire. What's going on with the tire? Uh, I, I don't know, but something's going on with it. I mean, the mechanic's not here today, so we we, we you know we can't fix it. It's just a tire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, it should be just a tire. Should be. You need the keys. So either you pump the bitch out or put them in. You know what I'm saying? Give me the keys. Take the keys. Look around that bitch. It's immaculate. You know what I'm saying? Except for the shorty girl. She seen. She tested the passenger handle. That shit about to fall off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, turn the joint on. Everything was straight. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful, clean, everything. All right, man, I got to check, yo. When you trying to get this joint, blah, 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 uh, I got to check. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing. Uh, yeah, we just got to, you know, give it, you know, give it all change and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know, come back. Some shit like that. All right, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? All right, boom. Nigga ain't never called me. You know what I'm saying? So I call him back the next day, like, yo, you fix that tire. Um, um, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. He, no, I talked to the manager now. He was like, yeah, you talk to. I was like, I don't know. He was like, long hair or short hair? I was like, short hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking his mom. Um, so, no, that's that's kind of what I felt from it. Like, oh, he's fucking his mom. Um, um, he was like, yeah, they were working on it all day yesterday. Uh, yeah, we should have it done. You know what I'm saying? It should be done. Should be done. So does anybody know what's wrong with the tire? All right, man. He said, yeah, the tire was just <laughs> flat, yo. Know, it should be good or something like that. So I was like, all right, I'll come get it Saturday. Boom. I said, I went to Saturday. Seen yours because they're supposed to call me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, fuck. Senior Blando. <laughs> Senior. Senior Blando. Senior! Senior Blando. That's gonna be the intro and outro every time. God damn. See, that's a. I don't understand niggas. I think it's gonna be playing. 
If you want the fucking money, you don't you want the fucking money, my nigga? That's what I'm saying. And you can't tell me what's wrong with a flat tire? Is it just flat, nigga, or do we need another tire? Is is that simple? Is it a fucking tire? They yeah, lost out. Yeah. These niggas, the next niggas I went through to get this truck now? Yeah. It was in Virginia. Chantilly. That's it Chantilly. was completely different. It was like two hours away from here. Fairfax, some shit. Hmm. Chantilly. Yeah, they was professional, all that. But, you know how he got me? They all janky. You know how he got me? Oh. I said to the chick after we got down here, hey, look in the um, glove box. Look at the glove box of paper in there. Oh, the, ins- the um, inspection paper. Yeah. Looked at it, the inspection paper, it said, Cadillac 2006. <laughs> A Yukon Denali. I said, let me look at this. Let me look at that inspection sticker. Look at the inspection sticker. Cadillac 2006. Mm. Look like a nigga just wrote it on there. Ain't even got all the uh, VIN number on it, bitch. Got about four numbers on the back of it. <laughs> and lines. <laughs> bitch, what that mean? <laughs> oh, shit. How she ride, though? Motherfucking smirk. That motherfucking smirk. No problems? No problems. Damn. 116,000 miles on it. Well, yeah. Oh, sad. Yeah. Fully loaded. They got all types of features that I ain't even know about. I pressed this button on that bitch today with my mom. I was like, yo, what's this? I don't even know what it is. Pressed it, and the seats behind me flipped up and then flipped up again and tucked itself in. Oh. I ain't never seen no shit like that before in my life, son. It's a 07. Man. It was doing that in 07? It's a 07. I press the button, the trunk button, the trunk automatically opens. Press it again, it closes back down. Heesh. You know what I'm saying? Automatic start. That's what's up. You know what it's saying? an automatic start on it? Yeah. Ooh. No more going out into the cold Sun. weather warming the shit up. I'm gonna hit the go in my bathroom. I'm gonna press the button. I hope it stretched that far. I don't need it. <laughs> they gonna press the shit like he ain't worked. He will get all dressed and shit. Head outside. Man. Fucking truck cold as a motherfucker. Yup. Ain't nothing like it. Yup. Lovely. Yup. God bless me on that one, bro. I need that. Because look, everybody, everybody I show that joint to him be like, they be like, yo, this is a $25,000 truck right now. Like, the CC though? Yeah. Oh, hot hot. Burn your ass. Oh, man. My sister had a fucking Volvo with heated seats one time. Son. We was riding down the highway. I'm like, what are they like? Your fire. seats? Like, yeah. She's like, yeah, so you got to turn <laughs> these off. Yo, roasting my goddamn nuts. <laughs> if, you <laughs> if you don't know about it, you know what I'm saying? You just jump in the seat and you see, and you, you know what I'm saying? After a while, you be like, what the fuck? It will f- trip you out, yo. Like, oh, yeah. I'll trip the fuck out. Like, fucking nut stop heating up. Like, oh, <laughs> is, is something wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, fuck. Man. Oh, okay, let's do this last one then. Oh, that was racist. Oh, that was racist. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, that's racist. That's some racist All right, shit. So, uh, the day. It's always so at the bad. job. Since we got two dudes that started about a month apart or some shit. White dude, black dude. The black dude, young boy, nigga, Apatan. He like African boy. He about twenty one. That nigga be tripping me out. Then we got this white dude, named Eric. Eric is my age. In on one time, I got him good though. You know, he dropped the N-word. <clears throat> He's, you know, he did it in a way where he was saying what somebody else said. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That first time, just me, me being me, it won't malicious. So the first time I hear it, I'm like, all right. That's why I know he can see it in my face. And so he tried to do it again because the boy Appleton 
was upset about something my boss made him, something he had to do. And he was like, yeah, your boy Appetite said, you know, you ain't get them in your head, blah, blah, blah. And we was laugh, already laughing about the shit. And he said it just out just like that. Mm. And as he said it, we laughed. And I'm like, <laughs> and without skipping a beat, I'm like, <laughs> stop saying that shit. <laughs> yeah, no, but something, something, something. And the look on his face was like, like, yeah, you yeah. never stop saying that shit. Uh, <laughs> I thought we was cool like that. <laughs> no, nigga, we not cool like that. I'm cool with a lot of white people, but... They ain't I, got that privilege. Yeah, I had to correct, like, three I can think of. And one of the youngest ones, I was like, hey, fuck with you. But I, yeah. You have to stop trying to drop that yeah. because you rapping some songs. You know what I'm saying? Not around me, though. Uh-uh. Nah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, you bleed that shit so out. That was it. And I stopped him on it smooth as a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny. And he was looking like this. <laughs> and then we just kept talking. And he right. just avoided that shit. <laughs> like, we cool, dog. But we ain't, you know, we ain't just... Say nigga when you want to say nigga cool. We ain't cool enough when you call me no nigga. Let me grab this tissue. Hold on. Oh. Tissue. Tissue. See, early I couldn't even get up like that. Tissue. This is a commercial break. You got a tissue. Tissue. This is a commercial break. Oh, right. Now we're back. Oh, and we're back. Straight from commercial. <laughs> oh, oh, that was racist. Yeah, that was racist. They out there though. They out there. there. What I like to say, they walk amongst us. Yeah. Um, I know these motherfuckers tried to do some shit to me. Um, this week. I don't know if it was racist or not, but I'm going to call it it was racist. It was racist. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Um, first, they start off as a white guy and a, a young guy and a uh, white young young lady. And they was like, Josh, you should hear what Zach said about you. Uh, I'm like, what do you mean? He said, he said, Josh don't want to go to Jersey Mike's. You don't want a sandwich. You want to go to both jangles? <laughs> you pull the black people with chicken card. <laughs> chicken, chicken. So I said, you know, because I say some crazy shit at work. Oh, you say some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Not even gonna get into one on here yet, but I got was just pretty shit. So anyway, I was like. You know, I went with, like, uh, you know, I was like, oh, oh okay, what are you talking about? Some chicken or something, you know what I'm saying? Boy, I don't even like chicken with bone in it, so I'm not just talking about. <laughs> All right, so we laughed a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was kind of funny. Okay, so then later on in the week, they was like, my supervisor walking by, white guy, and uh, they was talking and shit. They said, she said, hey, Corey, hey, Corey. You should have heard what Josh said. So I was like, oh, man, what are you talking about? <laughs> Tell him, Josh. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> he says, he like he like to go get some chicken. <laughs> some, shit <like> that. <laughs> some shit like that. Some shit like that. I don't know what the fuck. No, no, actually it was like, it was what Zach said. She was like, did you, you should hear what Zach said about Josh. I was like, what? He said he, he wanted to go to, he should he shouldn't go to Jersey. Mike, she should go to Bojangles to get some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so now I was like, I'll be like, oh, these white people are like clowning me. Like, and I got, I feel like a, a job nigga. Like I said, you work in a corporate world. You got to pick your battles sometimes yeah, yeah, because you, you are outnumbered. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I was like, ah, yeah, 
Yeah, chicken. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope you dance for you too. <laughs> God damn, that was racist. <laughs> they didn't see it as racist. Mm-hmm. It was just a chicken nigga joke with it was jumbo chicken lips. The nigga, uh, the manager at Marco's Pizza when I worked there. Uh, for the most of the time I worked there, he used to say some shit. You know what I'm saying? He used to always say some shit. Just some slick shit. It never got out of hand. But uh, he would try to push it. But I I usually hit niggas with the straight face. It's fucking racist. <laughs> oh, and you see on their face. Uh, but I didn't. Oh, oh. Like when I was in high school. You called my lawyer. It's high school. I had a, a study hall. And I used to draw a lot back in the day. And I was drawing some shit. Just killing time in study hall. And this girl that went to school with me, named Jessie, she was a white chick. Jessie's mom. Uh, Jessie came over and said something like, why you use that when you're supposed to use the color one or something like that? Somewhere along those lines. Oh, shit. It wasn't like overtly racist, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we've known each other for like years. You know what I'm saying? Just going to school together and shit. And I look directly at her, Josh. Straight face. Like, I'm usually a nigga that's smiling and shit. Straight faced her. You fucking racist. And as soon as I said that shit, she's like, but, uh, you know what I mean? But no, I wasn't. I was just. Uh. And she started <laughs> She started to freak out and cry. <laughs> I was like, oh, yo, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. We got that power. Like, I know you're not racist. I've been knowing you for years, but you made that comment. I had to stick you with that shit. You th- <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's the last thing as a white person. If you want to make a white person mad, call them fucking racist. Just, yeah. If you ever want to know exactly how many black friends a white person have, call them racist. Call them racist. I got plenty of black friends. There's Daquan, something's <laughs> dead. He dookie in my mouth. It's funny how they try to be like, you know, if I have black friends and try to say how many black friends they have, like, I got white friends. I couldn't tell you how many white friends I have. Right, me too. I mm-hmm. fucked a lot of white bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but I want to bring it up. It has nothing to do with nothing, but I have to bring it up. So this is some random shit. Do we have a category for that? What the fuck was that? What was that? She's scared the shit out of you. It might have been when I hit the blunt. Because the sound only happened as I was in hell. Oh, okay. I think that's what I said. There it is. Or maybe we just had a giant mouse. <laughs> oh, look, I looked at Bella. <laughs> like, cats don't make that noise, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to tell you. But back in the day when I was young and not a kid anymore. Some days I said, wish I was a kid again. Me? Precisely. Uh, it was this girl, a white girl. Her name was Elizabeth. I think she had a brother named Ben. They were twins. Ben Ted. I had a whole fucking cherry came up that moment. Oh, right there. That it wasn't on my dick. <laughs> she said, why are you using my fish? Yeah, get him in the sweet later. Um We were in middle school. I was in Walton. Oh, you went to Walton? Yep. I think uh, sixth grade, I believe. I think she wanted to fuck me. I think she wanted to try to flavor it. <laughs> this white girl, let me describe you what she looked like. Damn, the swirl. And then you you would probably be like, okay. Let me tell you what she looked like. She was, 
like real linky. She's like real skinny, really skinny. She had no titties at all. She was flat chested. So I'm not right there, so she also had no ass. <laughs> you are absolutely right to assume that. She had the haircut of Eleven from Stranger Things. <laughs> you serious? Her and her brother had the same haircut. So this is sixth grade. This is uh, 99, 2000? We're bringing back from the 99 and the 2000. No, sixth grade. 98? Man, I can't tell right now, dog. Wait a second. How old was I? 12? In the 6th grade? I think I was 12. That was 21 years ago. So, yeah, that was 99. 99. Okay, you won. I really believe that was it of the story. I think I just wanted to tell you that she looked like a little bit from Stranger (laughs) Things. Good story. (laughs) This nigga fuck. This nigga fuck. Yo. And that's real quick, real shit deal with. Yeah, this shit is. You know what I'm saying? This Joel falling out. Some random shit for you. Oh, man. That's fucking hilarious. (laughs) I think I just wanted to say. Because <laughs> it popped up in my head like, man, I remember this bitch. She looked like the lemon from Stranger Things. <laughs> and, but, you know, as we were talking and communicating, I kind of was getting attracted to her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we vibing, so we talking. Happens, happens. I put on my white voice at times. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm non-threatening. Yo, blood <laughs> threatening. You can talk to me, white woman. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I had plenty of those throughout my youth, though. Yeah. That's how I knew I was going to fuck some white bitches. I mean, the white bitches, niggas typically, typically want to fuck. I don't think are attracted to a nigga like me. Right. I don't fuck a couple white bitches, but... Yeah, you can get some white bitches. I mean, you was on the track, though, so you could have really got a lot of white bitches if you tried. Yeah, track was fun. You know what I'm saying? a lot of thick black bitches to track, too. Um, Ooh. Boy. I wasn't fortunate enough to go through that track situation. Ooh, did you need somebody to hold your blocks? Damn. Sit back behind you, hold your blocks. Mean? You know when they, when they start, the little shits, they put their feet in so they can push right. them and go? Those called the, uh, the blocks. And... A lot of times when track meets, you have somebody sitting behind you, holding them. So when you kick off to start your race, them shits don't shoot backwards. You know what I'm saying? Because like, professionally, professionally, they don't need people. Them shits are secure when they put them at their track. But like high school level and shit, if you ain't got no rich fucking high school or something, you more than likely get somebody to hold your blocks. And the bitches had a little tight sword. They like to do all the shit. Like shake their legs before they get oh, down. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, shake their legs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was with them drama bitches, though. <clears throat> there was some, some mean bitches at times. But Lionel was, like, bad. Yeah. And they didn't know it. Mm-hmm. But they breath stink. <laughs> <laughs> Like, really bad. Is it to the point where you can't overlook it? I couldn't overlook it. Like, my man, Mark, like, like... A savage? Mark was a savage. He was a savage. <laughs> he was a savage. But he was in love with this bitch, and she had really bad breath. But she was shaped like a black girl. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bad to the bone, boy. But she used to kiss her dog all in the mouth. I witnessed it. Mm. And when it hit you, like when shit hit you and make you shake your head like, like that, like, like, then hit you with a dual jump, like, my God, nigga. I know what you. T- I know what you mean. In high school, once I was going into class, and this chick. So, Ronky Breck was at the 
the, the entrance to the classroom. She said something as I was walking by, and it hit me. My nigga, I held my breath until I got to the back. Sometimes you got to do it. <laughs> I was scared to breathe. I was fucking scared to breathe. Oh, I can't believe what I just... Oh, fuck. She should be ashamed That's of That's crazy. Yeah, they ain't, um... Uh, they wasn't prepared, like, back in the day. They didn't, um... You know what I'm saying? We all had to find our shit, you know? We all had to find it that time. We found it sooner than others, you know? So, <laughs> people... So one day, like I said, it hit me one day. You know what I'm saying? I was a young boy. I was a young boy. You know what I'm saying? In high school. You know what I'm saying? Was I in high school? I was like in ninth grade, some shit like that. Bella, stop. What you stop? Stupid ass. I was in high school. All right. I ain't, shouldn't even be saying it, but I'm going to say it. Okay. I mean, statue of limitations. Statue of limitations. All right. I was in high school. I, you know, I, you know, I stood up one day, said something to the teachers. I don't know shit like that, and I sat back down. And a fucking wind <laughs> hit me in my face and said, "Who, who was that?" I said, "Who was that?" I'm looking around in disgust. Who the fuck ass is smelling like that today? Y'all is stupid. So I went up, sharpened my pencil, one to you know, while wow, oh, I uh, sat man. back down, hit me again. God damn! <laughs> the fuck is that? Y'all gotta do better out here, people. You need to start washing your asses. You coming from fuck? God, you know better than that. So then it hit me the third time. Then I said, you know what? You gotta check. <laughs> I did like this. I hit it. I checked. I did a check. I did like this. I said. Hit it real quick like that. I said, oh, shit, son. I said, you got to wash in your ass cheeks. I didn't know that all this time. This is like 13, 14 years. You know, I didn't I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? The realization you didn't clean your ass good. Right. When you're a child, sometimes you get away with it because you ain't got that man odor and that, that must yeah. That mud ass playing basketball and shit. <laughs> but I was scarred. Let's get into it. You want to get into it? We can get into it since you've been in my arm. Oh, yes. I was scarred because back in the day when I was a young, young, young boy, like, you know, three to four or five, yeah. something like that, my mom's boyfriend had his son over and he was like, you know, y'all use the same rag. This nigga went and took a shower first. When he came back, the washcloth had shit streaks all over it. was a white washcloth had shit streaks all over the washcloth. You want me to use that. I was a young boy, but I always knew what nasty was. Since I was the youngest, I can always thought think of. Why would you tell anybody to use a rag somebody else can use? When you kids, people do that dumb ass shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't know. They don't care. You can do some crazy shit like that. No. Yeah. You know, and plus it wasn't, you know, he, that nigga didn't give a fuck. I did not use that rag, but it scarred me. <laughs> I said, I will not use, I would not wash my ass cheeks ever again because it would have shit on my rag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, wow. Yeah. I don't want shit on my rag. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck me up. But I'm a new man. I was born reborn that day. Yes. Get him back. Celebrate. Y'all. I'm back. Shit. Yeah, some days, you know. I done had days, especially like middle school era. But I'm like, shit. Am I going to smile that both of the day? Did I forget to put on the and that's when you spend all day with your arms clenched like this. And what you don't understand is that's gonna make you sweat more. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and you just praying. Come on, so hurry up and end. Mm. God damn. Please don't nobody smell this shit. Especially, it embarrass me today. I especially you know around a bad bitch that, you know, I wanna be, you know, I'm looking at yeah. like fuck, I got second period with this bitch, my arms. Oh, Crazy shit, man. 
My mama ran out of soap, nigga. We <laughs> using don't dish detergent. Ooh, the struggle. I'm itching. Oh man. That's pretty good. This will be a good first episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I might say so myself. Long time. She might gotta edit some things out because uh, you didn't tell them that. that. Say like, no. <laughs> when you when you get up and you left, I was telling secrets to the people. Bro, oh, <laughs> what you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> what you tell them? You'll find out. Oh man. shit! Ain't that right, brother? No. Alright. Doesn't be ratting in you way. I'm surprised she calmed down. Yeah, I mean she looked like she was about to fall asleep over there. Usually she wide the fuck open the whole time I'm open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, she do learn like from that. Like as you can see, like I will put you in the cage if you <laughs> trip the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? So she learned from that shit. That's why I, I like like her too. Don't wanna be a solitaire. Like I got, I have to do it some more because she's still trying to get out of that. Like, I think I forgot what she did. We got them blinds on there. Uh, yeah. It's funny because that little uh, joint you put her in, she ain't getting no bigger. That's a lot of space for it too. <laughs> right. <laughs> what you thinking about doing? I don't want that. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> like she ate a little Debbie cake and was wrapped up and pulled up the bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 2020, you are almost over. This has been a fucking crazy year. We've lost a lot of people, yes, one way or the other. Uh, this year has taught us really to be thankful for who you had, what you had. Because you never know. You never know. Call your people up. You never know. Call your people up. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you love them. And if you know somebody that don't really have too many people, check on them every once in a while. Call your people up. Tell them that you love them. If you know somebody you ain't got no people, call them and make them they okay. <laughs> Little <laughs> track. But on that note, people. Hey. Thank you for listening. Amen. This is Jake Diggs. Number two. Real quick, real shit, deal with. Here we have this motherfucker.